And now an inspiring story of an Indian Air Force father-daughter fighter pilot duo. Flying officer Ananya Sharma kitting up in her G-suit, helmet by her side. The man next to her is her father. Ananya always used to say, Papa, I want to be a fighter pilot like you. And after her commissioning, when for the first time she came as flying officer Ananya Sharma and saluted me, I was really proud. They are among just a handful of serving father-daughter fighter pilots anywhere in the world. In this sortie together in a Hawk jet trainer, the two would fly together in formation. As a child, I would often ask him why women fighter pilots are not there in the Indian Air Force. And he would tell me in his characteristic style that, don't worry, you will be one. The father-daughter duo are a highlight in what has been a successful process of inducting women fighter pilots in the Indian Air Force. In 2018, we interviewed flying officer Avni Chaturvedi, the first Indian woman to fly solo in a fighter jet. She first flew MiG-21s and is now flying Sukhoi 30s. Training, uh, I won't say difficult, but definitely challenging. Because uh, uh, humans are not made to fly, right? right? Uh, we learn to fly. So, uh, it took approximately one year of flying training to, uh, become an fly, uh, to become a flying officer. And even after that, it took one more year for me to uh, come to a fighter cockpit. India now has a woman Rafale pilot as well, Flight Lieutenant Shivangi Singh. For Flying Officer Ananya Singh, the sound of fighter jets was always inspiring. Growing up, we were mostly always posted to fighter bases. So we would often hear the sound of jets flying over us. And knowing the fact that my father is flying, one of them used to really inspire me. And for her old man, getting a chance to fly alongside his daughter, a dream come true. A few days back, both of us flew in the same formation on the hockey ground. That was really the biggest day of mine. The Indian Air Force prides itself as an equal opportunity force, the first among the Army, Air Force and Navy to have inducted women in a combat role. Vishnu Shore for NDTV.